Hello, and welcome to Levidian Publications Unboxing. Uh, one of my favorite types of unboxing, a Robert McCammon unboxing. This, my friends, is the trade edition for... Oh, we got a surprise as well. We have an arc. Uh, this is the trade edition of Robert McCammon's newest title, Seven Shades of Evil, plus an arc for Where They Wait, which is the newest title, uh, the next title, coming from Lavidium Publications. So how about that? We have the current title, next title. So let's start with uh, Seven Shades of Evil, just because that is what I was anticipating unboxing here. So uh, if you are not familiar with Robert McCammon, he is a master of what he does. Master of words. Un unlike me, who can't think of the phrase master of words when I'm live on camera. Um, but in most recent years, he has been publishing a historical fiction, historical thrillers, the Matthew Corbett series. And this is the penultimate. Uh, I, I know it says penultimate. Uh, I don't know if that's necessarily... Uh, yeah, let's say it, penultimate volume. I don't know if I want to necessarily say it's true because it, this is a short story collection. To me, I mean, I guess it is going to be the, the penultimate release. Uh, but to me, the last novel was technically the penultimate novel because it, you know... It's continue, the following novel, the final novel, the continuation of that. Anyways, that's just me, my gripe, unrelated to the novel itself. Uh, so Matthew Corbett, historical fiction, historical thrillers, an incredible fo artist photo here of Robert McCammon in full uh, makeup and attire as one of the characters in this collection. Um, so anyways, if you haven't read any of these titles, you should. They're terrific. Uh, so I'm not ready to let it go, but this will be the next title that I'm going to read. Uh, if you also, as of the time of me recording this, uh, pre-order a copy, a signed copy of the trade edition through Alabama Booksmith, you get a chance to enter, a chance to win that cane right there in the photo. Just a cool little detail. Anyways, uh, gorgeous artwork by, is it Vincent Chong? It is Vincent Chong on the front there. Uh, so this is the trade edition. This is an unsigned trade edition. I said, if you want a signed copy, you can go to Alabama Booksmith. Link in the description below to pick up a copy. Uh, I also have the numbered edition coming, but that's not shipping quite yet. Uh, so one thing you will notice about the trade edition is the font is going to be a little bit tinier. Um, that's just to kind of save paper, save costs in order to keep this trade edition cheap and affordable for us, the consumer. Uh, the numbered edition is going to have a larger page count. It will have larger t uh, font as well. But that edition is sold out, so you would have to go to the secondary market if you wanted to pick one up. Now, I can't speak for... I mean, I do have the arc of this, but I didn't actually read the arc because I have too many books to read, and I uh, kind of suck in that regard. So I haven't read these stories yet, uh, but I know they take place throughout Matthew Corbett's adventures. I believe they're all dated... Yes, for like the four lamplighters, August 1702. So they're all they're all dated. So if you, uh, you know, the early colonial James Bond, you want to follow him on his adventures, I highly recommend it. Uh, seriously, check it out. Speaks of Nightbird, the first novel, terrific. Uh, second novel, uh, I'll just say Mr. Slaughter. Second novel is Queen of Bedlam. Great murder mystery, terrific. Third novel, Mr. Slaughter, uh, you're dealing with a serial killer on the loose. It's just like each novel has its own tone. And, and McCammon handles them all perfectly. Um, anyways, anywho, we also have an arc here for Where They Wait by Scott Carson. Uh, so this is the next title to be published by Lavidian Publications. I believe he actually has the copies in hand. They'll be shipping after the signed and numbered editions of Seven Shades of Evil, I believe. Uh, if you don't recognize the artwork, that is Francois Vaillancourt, the man, the myth, the legend, uh, who just absolutely kicks ass and is pretty much always on tap for Levinian Publications whenever they need an incredible artist to kick ass. So Scott Carson, if you're not familiar with him, is the pen name or of uh, Michael Carita, uh, one of Brian James Freeman's friends. Uh, Michael Carita has received the cemetery dance treatment. Scott Carson has received... The Levidian Publications treatment. Oh, a little ghost image of the ghost. I don't know who the ghost is. I'm not familiar with where they wait, but the ghost does not look impressed. She's got her arms crossed. She's kind of 
giving you a little stare down there. Uh, one thing to be said about the numbered edition, uh, can also be said about the numbered edition. Oh, it doesn't even say the author. It just says, is a pen name for best-selling author. It doesn't say who it is. It's Michael Carita. Anyways, um, both numbered editions have die-cut slip cases, uh, which is really cool. Very cool design. Uh, so I can't say what they're, where the weight is about. Was that a piece of artwork or is that just the chapter that I saw? And that was the chapter. Oh, there's some artwork. Uh, but it will have Francois's artwork, such as this piece right here, uh, throughout. Uh, in the numbered editions, it will be printed in black and white. However, if you are lucky enough to pick up the lettered edition, it will be in glorious color. If you wanted to see, oh, it takes place in Bangor. So this is a, this is a main story up in Stephen King's neck of the woods. Is it King inspired, perhaps? Um, anyways, I did have the luck and the fortune to have received a, lim a lettered Levidian title. It is The Store by Bentley Little. Uh, so if you wanted to see the numbered and lettered edition, kind of not really side by side because I didn't have them both side by side in one video, but I have two videos on my channel, one of the numbered edition, one of the lettered edition. Uh, so you could check those out and watch the videos back to back and get a taste for the differences between them. I hope none of these images contain spoilers because I'm going to show you all of them. But if I'm spoiling it for you, I'm also spoiling it for me. So we're going down together. Um, Francois just... He does the coolest artwork, and he has some of the coolest remarks as well. He posted an, a remark, an image, over on Facebook of a remark he did for Gone South uh, by Robert McCammon, also published by Levidian, uh, which featured, it featured a gator, and the gator, it was on like the, the title page, the gator pretends it's the title page, the gator is kind of, you know, going diagonal on the title page, and his tail is it on the title page? He painted the gator's tail on the forefront of the page block. So it's like almost like a 3D remark. It is the coolest thing. I do not have any Francois remarks. It makes me kind of sad. I should really I should really get some Francois remarks. He does such cool remarks. But unfortunately, my budget is tight from purchasing the books themselves. So being able to pay for a remark. Uh, is usually not in the budget because my budget is already tight enough from the books themselves. And if your answer was, why don't you just buy less books? Uh, my answer is, you should shut up. So, <laughs> um, yeah. I'm, I'm excited for this. I don't know if I'll get to read the arc before I have the numbered edition in hand, but we shall see. Because uh, I do need to bump Seven Shades of Evil up the list because... Man, I need some more Robert McCammon in my life. I need some more Matthew Corbett in my life. Uh, I read King of Shadows last year when it came out, and it made me want more. There are I have questions that I hope are not necessarily answered in this, but ex explored in these short stories. Um, so, <clears throat> so seriously, check out Levitium Publications. As I said, I think Where They Wait is already sold out by no, directly through Levitium. But I know there were copies on some other sites. Subterranean Press had some copies. Uh, Camelot Books had some copies. I'm sure Dark Regions Press will have some copies. Um, so you should definitely pick up a copy. And Seven Shades of Evil, same thing goes for it. You know, the, the numbered edition is sold out. Uh, but you can pick up a trade copy online or in bookstores near you. Or you can go onto Alabama Booksmith's website and pick up a signed trade edition uh, from there. I... And probably going to pick up a signed trade edition myself, mostly because I want to try to win that cane. You know, you never know if you're going to win that cane. I have no use for a cane, but uh, you know, you get you can't try. You can't try if you you can't win it if you're not in it. I can't speak English. It's been a long day. Uh, so seriously, thank you very much, Levitian Publications, for the gorgeous books. Seriously, please check them out. Uh, if you are not, you don't, you do not need to be subscribed to Brian James Freeman's Patreon. What is going on with my camera here? I apologize. It is focusing up a storm. I'm sorry about that. Uh, you do not need to be a patron of Brian James Freeman's Patreon to pick up books from Levidian, uh, but it helps because you do get the pre-sales uh, for when these titles go on sale. 
uh, the patrons, for example, already know who the next author is. Uh, there are so where they wait is coming out like next month because right now we're at the tail end of October, and I believe the month immediately after, which would be December, is the next Lividian limited edition. Uh, who is the book is by an author that Brian James Freeman has worked with in anthologies, but has never worked with directly for a full novel. Uh, and if you are a patron on his Patreon, you already know who that author is, and I'm excited. So you get excellent advanced opportunities for the books. You get advanced opportunities for grab bags, which include, you know, the greatest grab bag I've ever purchased. It's just a great deal. Uh, so seriously, consider subscribing to his Patreon. Consider subscribing to my YouTube channel if you just want to live vicariously through me. I'm going to keep unboxing them. I'll keep uploading them. Uh, I'm also doing book reviews as well. But anyways, keep on reading, keep on watching, and we'll see you around next time.